is Kareng Radio. It's Matt Stocks, and I'm joined by two thirds of the band once again. This is kind of a little bit philosophically full circle. Really We've got is. Stephen and Mark from Lost Alone here. Alan is missing, but the first time I ever met you two and Lost Alone were on this show in the flesh. Obviously, I had you on the phone before then, but the first time you came to visit the studios, Alan was MIA then as well. Yeah, he's a he's a difficult one to pin down. <laughs> he is. Uh, I remember when we were on the Evanescence tour, the Arena tour as well. He didn't arrive for like five hours. Oh, like, yeah. Where's he, Alan? Is he, he turning up? Is he's he coming? Con- he's constantly. Um, He's got a lot of hair he has to deal with. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He's just preening himself. Yeah, he's, he's constantly. He's always there, just always late. So he'll be turning up in like three hours once the show. Oh, yeah, the, sh- the show's over an hour. You missed the boat, yeah, yeah. Al. So um, I'm sure he's. I'm sure he'll be listening on his on his route <laughs> with his hair dryer. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you brought some chocolate and sweets along. Yeah. Got some boost bars. Always, there yeah. are other chocolate bars available. Three boosts, um, and we're going to be hanging out and talking about. Well, there's there's not too much in terms of the band that we can really officially. Yeah, say we're, because we're in the studio right now mixing the record obviously not this second but yeah yeah after this back down to london where we're mixing so we're kind of it's exciting i wish we could play everything now but i mean well, I've, we, I've only heard little snippets you need to send me some more stuff yeah yeah well we've, i'll we've play just been stuff, listening to yeah. it all in the car Probably can i come and have a ride with you after the show yeah yeah you should come and like have a listen check it out some great sounds in the car, yeah. what was the the breakdown that you've invented we can talk about that oh what the break dong the break dong yeah the break dong well, describe the premise of the break dong it's fairly self- to everyone because nobody's going to um, know what that is. It's quite self-explanatory, I think. Which is, it's basically <laughs> um, there's a song called "The Bells, The Bells," and um, in the middle of it, it breaks down. However, it breaks dong because it breaks down to a stereo. <coughs> Sorry, that was a break sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Carry on, Steve. Yeah, it basically breaks down. It's, it's quite. A, it's one of the heavier tracks, and it breaks down to stereo. Uh, me, me harmonised many, many times, going ding dong, um, bouncing between left and right in harmony with some yes and some weird things, and it's yes, yeah, so it's a break dong. And I have heard the break dong, You've and it, it yeah. sounds magical. I don't think I've ever heard anything quite like it. Did you count the dings and the dongs? No. Is it like Scarface level? Are we talking it, the most dings or dongs in any song of all time ever? It has to be, really. Well, it def- it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's definitely even more so than Ding Dong, which is dead. You think? Yeah, yeah. Because, Whoa! Because the, big, le- the level call. of the level of layering on it. Okay. And um, it's quite funny actually because <laughs> Mark and Alan left the studio, didn't you? And, and they, yeah. all they knew was that we had to play these, you know, do 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 do, and there's these bits, and Mark and Alan were kind of like, what? And I said, there's going to be some ding-dongs. And they're like, what, what is going to be there? And then, I, I don't even know if I really knew. But then uh, they went for like an hour somewhere. When they came back, it was just me and the engineer, Rich, who was a great guy yep. and very talented. It was just, I'd gone, dude, I want to go ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, ding, and I want to harmonise it. And we'd done it. And, and we don't know how we did it, and we could never recreate it. So the actual, the thing we did for the demo is what actually ends up on the record because it is impossible to re- redo it ever. Like, it's just a kind of two hours of lunacy. That, you know. <laughs> but I love the fact that your producer, Dan, Dan Weller, who's worked with Shikari, he's doing the new Kids and Glass Houses album, mm. he's done lots of great records. Uh, he is very much on board with that liberated approach, oh. that you are free to try anything, nothing is off limits. Yeah, I think, that, and that's what we loved about Dan, and the first two days, pretty much, so I remember it was just... YouTubing all our favourite songs and mm. just singing to each other. It was, it was really, <laughs> no recording. <laughs> no recording. Just, just didn't do anything. Just like check this out, check this out, and it just kind of like loosened us all up and and made us all realise that we, you know, anything goes. We're into like the you were in an artistic the, the, zone yeah. Yeah. with no judgement. Exactly. Free to create. Well, let's break. Let's eat some boost bars. Let's play a song. Let's get on. Let's play some Shikari nice. um, because, of course, one of the best records in recent years was their last one. Of course. A Flash Photo Colour produced by Dan Weller who's doing your new record. So let's get a song on off that. We'll do uh, Pack of Thieves. So this is End Shikari Hold Tight. We'll be back with more chat with Lost Alone on the other side of this. Pack of Thieves and Shikari is Kareng Radio. It's Matt Stocks. It is Tuesday the 11th of June. It's my last week of show. So I thought because it is my last week, I want to get a roll call, an ensemble of my favourite guests and in many cases, good friends mm-hmm. uh, over the last few years working here. I've met some incredible people. And two of my closest friends are joining me on the show tonight, Mark and Stephen from Lost Alone. Welcome. Hello. It's um, absolutely wonderful to be considered a close friend. Is it? It's uh, mu- mutual from the Lost Alone camp. And that's about as excited as Stephen gets, really, isn't it? You know, it might sound like he's just <laughs> saying it to be nice there, but he no, means that. that. He means that. That, 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 that is genuine. genuine that was, was genuine. I was kind of mid-boost stroke T. Yeah, yeah, yeah taking so it, it down. Was, well, a lot of people who listen to the show know that I love your music because I play it all the time but you haven't actually been really really regular guests i mean you've obviously been on a few times mm. but the majority of work which we've been doing together 
has been going on behind the scenes away from the world of Radio Land, yeah. uh, which a lot of people may not be familiar with, but for, I guess, almost the best part of a year, I'd say yeah, about eight yeah, to really, nine months, yeah, really is, yeah. I've been following you guys around with my cameraman, Joel, and we've been we documenting. Didn't know about it, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Candy <laughs> Cam, what's he doing? Is he ever going to stop this <laughs> restraining order? Um, and we've been on arena tours together. We've yeah. been at festivals. We've been in the studio together while she's been working on the new record, yeah. documenting some fantastic live footage kind of on the wall or off the wall. What would the phrase be? Like Fly it. on the wall. I like there on, we go. On the wall. I like on the wall. And you like off the wall. I like off the wall because it's a Michael Jackson reference. It is, and it's a little um, bit bonkers. Yeah. So. Um, and we've been filming interviews. We've been getting. We have hours and hours of footage, and I'm the plan really is. I'm excited actually because I don't. You haven't seen any of it. I don't remember anything we do. And whenever we interview, say we interview Mark, we don't let Stephen or Alan be in the room, and vice versa. So none of you <laughs> know what the other ones have said either. You haven't seen any of the footage. Hopefully, if all goes to plan, if we turn it around, it's going to be um, featuring on maybe a deluxe edition of the new yeah, record yeah that's definitely the definitely, plan yeah. yeah two disc cd dvd so lost alone fans definitely watch this space for this so um yeah we've formed quite tight bonds yeah you, you do over the last few in, months in the kind of moments where it's a big deal like being three guys mates and then inviting bringing strangers. other people into like yeah. you know where where you know you might see things like frustrations or mm-hmm. walking on stage at wembley and yeah. being extremely nervous and things so yeah it's it's but you know it's been a pleasure to have you uh, have you. It's been an mix. absolute pleasure being a part of it. Yeah. So watch this space for that. The album title we can't reveal yet. Can't. I assume you have it. You've settled on it. Oh yeah, it's totally mm-hmm. settled on it. It's yeah. in there. Yeah, every, everything's everything's in place. Um, and is it going to be a ten track record? Is this what you were saying to me? It's um, it's we've we've done. I think it could be thirteen, um, but one of them is like an epilogue, mm-hmm. um, which isn't really a song. It's just the greatest chorus yet written yeah yeah just it's, it's, it's just a chorus it's just right a chorus, yeah um at the end of the record um and i'll make a speech over it naturally <laughs> <laughs> was this the the marching song no no that's, no, that's, that's, that's another the one. opening track. that's the opener yeah, yeah the whistling of marching on the first track but the yeah the um the last track's the one that's got uh one word yeah um which harmonized. is a word if anybody's seen the band live they know that you're a fan of the, word, the yeah. word, yeah. Yeah! Yeah, well, it's basically got the word, yeah, harmonised 96 times. <laughs> this is the kind of levels we are dealing with yeah, here, yeah. people. This is deep. It, it's the last thing on the album, and it just goes, yeah, and it's 96 times, and it's 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 post Les Mis. You know, it's bigger yeah, yeah, than yeah. a musical. So, obviously, that film recently came out. I know you're all film guys. You do band trips to the cinema, and I know mm. you sit at home and watch a lot of movies and television shows and things like this. Um, was Les Mis a film? Because it obviously came out around the time of the writing and the recording. Was it something? which kind of directly influenced impacted me massively because yeah. I, I liked the musical anyway before and um i'm also as you know along with mark and our friend uh, the co-creator of crowetry mm-hmm. so obviously um <laughs> obviously russell crow is is a a, a lead in um, yeah yeah in um Crowetry, very quickly, we won't get too far into it because we've done it many times on this yeah, show and yeah. people might be going, enough of the Crowetry. Crowetry is basically you replace uh, the name of a band, the name of a person, a film with the word crow. So if yeah, you're like you like Guns and Crows. You don't replace it, you, you insert crow. Because it has to phonetically, phonetically into, yeah. into stuff. Um, check it out on Twitter. Um, it's big. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's, it potentially, we're actually on a campaign this week to get uh, Crow is on Graham Norton. Yes, he is with Amy Adams, my favourite girl in the world. She is beautiful. Well, Adams is going to have to sit aside because we, we've got a... Uh, Step aside, Amy. We've got an email for somebody at the show. Have you? And we're bombarding them with... Um, Dude, if you send in Crowetry pictures, I almost that, guarantee it will be on the show. Dude, Norton is notorious for the, the sit-down at the computer thing. Yes, we're, have you we're, seen this? We're getting Crowetry. It, has it already been filmed, though? This is the thing. <laughs> Because it may have. Because it's television, God. isn't wow. it? Wow. wow. You've just really, that, you've sort of made well, you, a spanner. Get on it right now well, after this. You're already on it. So you're already I, on I it. I would say it would probably be filmed tomorrow. They normally film Friday shows on a Wednesday. Okay. I'm basing that on nothing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I literally, I just realised it. No, I'm only basing that. I always remember like Jonathan Ross shows, you know, the bands would play. Yeah, yeah, I always yeah. know that they'd be going on a Wednesday to record, pre-record. Because you were good friends with the Puffs and the Piano. Of course, yeah. 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 Tight, what, you, you should get them to now. open up for you. I'd love to. I'd love that. That'd be amazing, show, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. Well, listen, I hope, I hope, you know, if you get it in on time, I have no doubt it will be on the show. I just fear you may have missed the boat. So Les Mis has been a major influence, yeah, the, the musical the, the, grand. The first track on the record, it, I wrote it, Leaving the Cinema from watching them is so um nice yeah it's very filmic and and ridiculous amount of vocals but that, that's where we were heading anyway yeah yeah I, mean, I i personally would love this album to be toured as a musical 
where where other people play it, and me, Mark, and I are like characters in the story. You're of the thinking album. down the Yusef Islam totally kind yeah. of road, yeah. Because I went to see him, and yeah. he has done a musical based on Father and Son, yeah. and he did, I guess, maybe like a segment, an act from the musical as his opening act. Ah, oh, right, interesting. So yeah. you got all the actors out. They did like act one, yeah, of the musical, and then he played. So maybe I would, you could look would, into that. I mean, I love the the Will Rocky musical. Uh, the story's lu- completely ludicrous, but the actual the music and obviously the Queen music and and the fact that it's a proper rock band playing and then amazing vocalists, loads of them. So I would love our album to be performed in that way. Nice, but we'd be the leads. <laughs> so I'd love to not have to worry about a guitar just run around acting and singing. Exciting times. Yeah. So, you know, people think they've heard Lost Alone, Go Big, Go Grand. Oh, they ain't heard nothing yet. This, yeah. Yeah. Next level. Is there a month in mind for release? Um, October. October. Um, with with music will be heard way before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, nice. Music yeah. maybe July, August? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I, I, I want to just let people hear it now. Yeah. But it's not finished, so yeah, yeah. silly. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah w- way before we'll get a track out and then like maybe just a track just to come out and then a single and then you know, the album, so... Good times. Well, listen, let's get some more music on. Let's get a song on from your friends in Paramore off nice. their new record. Let's Lovely. do that. Uh, we'll go with the deep cut as well, as it's my last week. I can just do what I want. Do what you want mate, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ain't It Fun. You heard my this favorite, one? Really. Is it? Is it your favourite? It's, it's a lovely track, one. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is my favourite song of the album. Fun, what a tune. Fun. Let's get it on, then. This is Paramore, Ain't It Fun, on Kerrang! Kerrang! 